Hello everyone, this is Ashwini Abare and today we have to discuss the next assignment which is searching. What is the use of search? To find something from a given record that is nothing but searches. So there are so many algorithms are available but we will focus on our binary search. So before start with the binary search, we should discuss the what is the logic behind binary search. So before that we will accept our array or record from which we have to find this. So we, I have declared one integer array whose name is A and maximum how many records it can store 20 records. So first step is we have to accept the actual number of records from user. So slash n enter number of records so user will give sub any number that we have to accept and we have to store in n variable so percent d and percent n now after that we have to accept that n number of variables or n number of records and that we have to store into a integer array so what you what we will do we will write one accept function so void accept one integer array whose size is 20 and n number of record we have to accept int i how many record we have to accept total n record so i equal to 0 i should be less than n i plus plus so how you will accept your record scan f percent d where we have to store address of a of i now here if i will give one message that print f slash and enter the value of a of percent d and that percent d should be replaced with i so it will give the all the records now after accepting we have to check whether it is accepted properly or not so what we will do we will simply copy this and write one more time and we will change the name of the function as display now instead of this printf now we require one scanf state sorry printf statement now we have to print the record so printf percent d a of i and in between every record i want some space so slash t now these are the two functions so first we will give the declaration of function where we have to give the declaration before and main function and after your header file so void accept int a of 20 and int n then we will call inside main so accept a comma n we have to accept n record and display n record which is present in integer array a so before printing if i will give message printf slash n and uh, sorry the all records are save these first we will check up to this much only Okay, semicolon is missing. Save. Here also semicolon is missing. Here also semicolon is missing. Okay enter number of records suppose 5 records so what is the value of a of 0 2 8 4 
zero and one. So two eight four zero one. These are the record. Now on this array we have to apply the binary search. Now before that we will discuss some example. Suppose this is the given array and on that array if we want to apply the binary search. So what we have to do? We have to point our load at zero position and high will be the last element of your given array. What will be our first step? First step we have to calculate the mid. How you will calculate the mid? Low plus high divided by two. So by using this example, your low is zero, mid is fourteen. So what will be the value? Mid will be zero plus fourteen divided by two. That you will get seven. Now on next slide, if you will say on seventh position, your mid is present. After calculating mid, we have to check three conditions. First condition is whether your mid is present at middle position or not. If yes, then we have to return directly the position of that element. So how you will check that? So for example, our key value is seventy-six, which we have to search in given array. So how you will check if a of mid is equal to equal to key, meaning is what it is present? Then directly we will return this. Now. If this condition is not true, then what we have to check next? Is your a of mid is greater than your key value? Now assume that if your key is thirty-eight and your mid value is seventy-six. So what we have to do? We have to only focus on the left-hand side of your mid. Means we we have to consider only half array for. Searching any record. So what we have to do for that? Low will be remain at zero position. High will be remain at mid minus one. Now, if this condition is also not true, means second condition is your a of mid is less than your key value. Now, if I want to search ninety six and that uh, a of mid is seventy six, so automatically ninety six is greater than seventy six. So what we have to do? We have to only focus on the right hand side of the given array. So how you will change that? Only we have to. So your high will be remain high, but low will becomes your mid plus one, right? Now suppose we will continue this, and after that, suppose next. After taking low at on right hand side, after that, what we have to do? Again, we have to calculate the mid. So mid is what eight plus fourteen divided by two eleven. So mid is pointing at eleven position. Again we have to check same condition. With same condition, whether your key is present at mid position or not. If not, then check whether it is less than or whether it is greater than. So our example is key is ninety six. Again eighty seven is less than ninety six. So again we have to focus on the right hand side of the given array. So what we will do again? We will take the low should be mid plus one. So you will get array as twelve, thirteen, fourteen position. After that, again we will check the same condition, but how many times? Now just check here. Low is here. After calculating mid, mid you will get at thirteen position. Now ninety six is equal with ninety six. A of mid, right? So it will return the mid. So what it will return? It will return the thirteen, meaning your element is present at thirteen position. But now, if I want to search the any element which is hundred, which is not a part of your array, so again here what you will check your A of mid is ninety six. Now our element is what hundred? Is hundred is present? Uh, is hundred is less than ninety six? No. So it is greater than. So what we have to do again? We have to change our low. Low becomes your mid plus one. So mid is here. Low becomes now mid plus one. Now just check. Low and high both are pointing to same location. Again, what you will check? You will calculate mid. You will get mid also here. Now what you will check? Is ninety seven is equal to hundred? No. Is ninety seven is less than hundred? Yes. Now what we have to do? What we have to do? Low will be low plus one, but if you will check, your high is pointing to fourteenth location, and low will increment by one. It becomes fifteen, which is a contradictory. So when we have to stop till, or when we have to repeat this step, 
टिल योर लो इज लेस देन और इक्वल टू हाई ओके द सेम अल्गोरिदम वी हैव टू इंप्लीमेंट हियर आफ्टर एक्सेप्टिंग एंड आफ्टर एक्सेप्ट एंड डिस्प्ले नाउ वी विल राइट अवर बाइनरी सर्च फंक्शन सपोज बाइनरी सर्च नाउ बाइनरी सर्च फंक्शन वी हैव टू अप्लाई ऑन विच एरे इंटीजर एरे इन दैट हाउ मेनी एलिमेंट्स आर प्रेजेंट नाउ सी फॉर द binary search implementation what we require we require one low value and one require high value so what you will do int low and int high then now then we require one sites if you want you can pass no you can pass see now what we have to do first step what we have to do we have to calculate the mid so first of all we will declare mid how you will calculate mid mid equal to low plus high divided by 2 it will give you your mid then what you will check if what here we require which key we want to search or which record we have to search so what you will do you have to check whether your key is found at which position a of mid position if yes then what we will do we will simply return mid if this is not case then what we have to check again we have to check else if what we have to check is a of mid is greater than your key value means your key value is 10 and a of mid is 20 so what we have to do we have to search on which array on left hand side so for left hand side what you will do high equal to mid minus 1 if this condition is also not true then what we have to do means that element is present on right hand side so low becomes your mid plus 1 and how many times you will repeat this again after that after dividing array again what we have to do again calculate the mid again check at middle position again check less than or greater than so how many times while a of me sorry sorry while your low is less than or equal to high so you have to calculate your mid value then after that again you have to continuously check less than or greater than now see if key is present at a of mid so we have written as what return mid so what will be the return type of your function now instead of void it will be empty now just see if it is present at middle position we will return that location but if that element is not present and this while loop is completely over means all elements are over so whether the element is present or not present not present so what you will do that return minus 1 why we have not written 0 because there may be a case that you will get your element at zero position so for that purpose we will take a minus 1 now here we will first give the declaration have you observed one thing for binary search our first requirement is your array should be in sorted order so right now we will not Uh, focus on sorting we will directly provide the sorted input and then we will uh, apply a sorting algorithm and then we will again run so what are the parameter first a now for initial what will be the value of low value of low is 0 what will be the value of high high will be n minus 1 why because if n records are present last record should be present at n minus 1th location now which key you want to search that we have to accept so before that printf 
स्लैश एन विच रेकॉर्ड बी यू वॉन्ट टू सर्च सो विच रेकॉर्ड दैट रेकॉर्ड वी हाउ टू एक्सेप्ट सॉरी परसेंट डी एंड दैट रेकॉर्ड यू विल स्टोर इन टू अ की वेरिएबल ना दैट की वी हैव पास इयर सो फर्स्ट वी विल डिक्लेयर दिस की ना वॉट वी हैव टू डू बाइनरी सर्च रिटर्न दी पोजिशन वेर दैट एलिमेंट इज फाउंड सो आई विल डिक्लेयर वन मोर वेरिएबल हुज नेम इज पोजिशन suppose position now what we have to check what we have to check if what if your position is equal to equal to minus 1 meaning is what element is not found so slash n or record not found else meaning it is not minus 1 so it will return mid value so record is found at which position percent d position and that percent d will be where at position variable clear all of you okay now save this Execute, compile and run. Whichever the error we will get, we will solve. Okay, no error. How many records? Six records. Now our requirement is what? Our array should be in sorted order. Suppose eleven, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Now this is the array. Now which element we have to search? Now if I want to search fifteen. Now just check. Element is found at which position? Fourth position. Is it the case? Zero, one, two, three, four. Yes, your element is present at fourth position. Okay. Now, after that, we have write our program on integer. Okay. In next video, we will convert this program into a string variable. Means. Your all the name of the students are given, and from the given name, if I want to search a particular name, so how you will search that? What is the use of this binary search? If the given roll call list is given, means all roll numbers are given, and from that roll number, if I want to search any particular roll number, so that roll number will be your integer. So using integer binary search, we can. find out now next is we will write for the string okay thank you for watching my video subscribe this like this and share with your student thank you thank you all of you